Right, morning everyone. Um, this is another stick pin book kit. I had a lot of people emailing me yesterday telling me they missed out on the pink one. So I've done a beigey, browny, goldy colour one today. Now, I haven't put the wadding in because I'm waiting for that to arrive, but it should be here tomorrow, Monday at the latest, so your kits will go out from Tuesday onwards. If you buy them, that is. But we did sell out within two hours yesterday of the other kit. Now, I've tried to do a very, very similar kit, but obviously in different colours. So I'm going to take you through that right now. So don't forget, you've got your wadding to come as well as what's in this kit. So I'm going to go through it bit by bit with you. See if we can put it back as I got it out. Let me just move all of these. Lots in it. A beautiful kit. So, what I've managed to do is I've put in some a, a nice big strip because that'll do a book, you know, um, an A5 book. I'll do an 8x8 book, whatever you want to do. So, I've put a nice piece of brown satin in. And that's 12 inches wide, that one. I then added this for the centre, but you can use any of these. It's completely up to you, you know, for the fr uh, for the middle, so that your pins will go in there. It's just fluff, nothing wrong with it. So that's a nice piece. So that's at least one book, but I personally would be able to get two books out of it at least. Then this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful and soft. And you've got, it's like velvet. It's just gorgeous. So again, you, that would do an A5 book. You'd probably get three books out of this, actually. I, I didn't want to crease much of it, if I can help it. Um, I put in some cotton, 100% cotton. Like a, So if you're doing that one, this can be your inside or outside and reverse them, whichever you want to do. I've added in uh, some jersey, stretch jersey, so you might want to do something with it, make a flower. If you cut that into strips, shaped it, sun and sew it up, you can make a beautiful flower with a bit of lace because there's some lace in this kit. Honest to God, you would look it, it will be stunning. And then some thick felt if you want to make, and it is good quality felt. I don't buy cheap. <laughs> I, it's, I use this for my doll making. I only ever make the best, use the best. So you've got a nice piece of felt. Some of them are only square, but it doesn't matter. It's what I had left. And you can make a pocket, do it like um, what I would do. This is only my own personal opinion. Cut an oval out, edge the oval with the cream trim, and then add some a, a nice flower design for the front of my book. And if you're giving it as a gift, fabulous gift. You could even cut something from this and make a kit up from this kit to give us a gift. You know, and add some bits and pieces to it. Right, so that's your fabrics. Now, I'm going to go through the trims. That one, that one, that one, that one, and this. You've got a, a metre plus of the Nottingham Lace in cream. Now, I've added... I'm not going to get it all out because I've packed it. The Pure Cotton Eyelet Trim. The Beaded Trim. You've got the um, eight, uh, sorry, 4 millimetre Pearl. The Flat Back Pearl. And then the strip, you can put it across the border, then put your oval in the middle. Oh, you could make it absolutely stunning. But you can make two or three books from this kit. Some uh, nice fancy trim there. So you've got that. 
in this one I've put in the Brody Anglaise, which is the double sided, and then some three uh, three doilies. Gorgeous kit. I've made a stick pin up for you, but you do get twelve with the kit. Some uh, of that braid, uh, sorry, trim, goupier trim, and then some of the golden coloured there, which make this is fantastic for flowers this particular one and my orders just arrived from the warehouse and i'm not kidding you you will you'll die when you see the stuff that's coming oh my god yeah but you've got that and a handmade stick pin just if you've never made one and you buy a kit then it's just to show people how to do them you do what you like with them in this one you've two brown feathers a, a meter of the gold ribbon you've got three bows you've got the rolled ribbons three of those somewhere there's the other one uh some uh ruler trim uh what did and then you've got one of those clusters so you've got that just gorgeous trim um okay then you've got this one which are the 1.5 inch flowers now we do have the roses in the one inch wide but we also have them in the 1.5 and i've got loads coming in oh god yeah <laughs> there's your stick pins so they will come uh properly capped and that or um, on the card or something i've put that trim in now it is a stiffish webbing but to soften it up just soak it in water and then dry it off and it'll soften it if that's how you want it but you've got that so i'm just going to pop that in there to stop it from unfolding and in this particular bag i've given you um pearls that you can do this big pearl um is to make yourself you know like something to dangle off the edge of the book on the you know side of the book you've got loads of roundels wings uh spacers and this i'm just in case i'm going to show you just in case some are not aware of what they are for oops that one got some little beads as well and like i said the diamante roundels bead caps giving you 12 uh, sorry six of the large six of the small and six of the bronze the flowery ones this that just in case you're not sure you can put that onto your stick pin and then you can hang a charm off so i've given you some wings or some bits and pieces that you know you might want to hang from that's all that is but it looks good on a stick pin and then in here are your crystals lots of crystals and some beautiful these are not cheap beads these gold ones they're they're expensive but um I, you get plenty so I thought, you know what, give them a treat and put six in. But different crystals, two uh, bows, and uh, like that little charm there could hang off that little round thing. So, you, uh, And you've got more wings in there. Um, so, yeah, a good selection of crystals and beads. So you've got those. Now, um, the waddings to go in. So if you want that one, I've only done six. They take a long time to do. It drives me nuts. <laughs> I like doing them though. And there's lots there and the wadding will go in as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll uh, speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.